In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning and Father. welcome to the shrine and minor basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Once again, we come to thank God. To thank God for all the blessings that we receive from Him, especially the gift of life. And we also come to pray, to ask God to continue His assistance to us so that we can continue also glorifying His name, praising His name. We also pray that our Blessed Mother our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will intercede for us, especially for our loved ones who need our prayers, our loved ones who are sick, and uh, also for the peace in the world. So, my dear friends, let us now make worthy of the, ourselves worthy of this holy celebration. Once again, let us ask God's forgiveness for all the sins that we have committed, as we say, I confess to, to Almighty me, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in, in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, words in what I have done, done and what, what I have failed to do, to do, my fault, to my fault, my fault to my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and you, and you my brothers and sisters. sisters to pray, to pray for me to the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Guard your church, we pray, O Lord, in your unceasing mercy. And since without you, mortal humanity is sure to fall, may we be kept by your constant helps from all harm and directed to all that brings salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princess of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim to redress the wronged. Hear the orphan's plea, defend the widow. Come now, let us set things right, says the Lord. Though your sins be like scarlet, they may become white as snow. Though they may be crimson red, they may become white as wool. If you are willing and obey, you shall eat the good things of the land. But if you refuse and resist, the sword shall consume you, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house the bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenant with your mouth? Though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct you by drawing them up before your eyes, 
he that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Please stand. Cast away from you all the crimes you have committed, says the Lord, and make for yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus spoke to the crowds, to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees have taken their seats on the chair of Moses. Therefore, do and observe all things whatsoever they tell you, but do not follow their example. For they preach, but they do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens hard to carry and lay them on people's shoulders. But they will not lift a finger to move them. All their works are performed to be seen. They widen their pilotaries and lengthen their tassels. They love places of honor at banquets, seats of honor in synagogues, greetings in the marketplaces, and the salutation, Rabbi. As for you, do not be called Rabbi. You have but one teacher, and you are all brothers. Call no one on earth your father. You have but one Father in heaven. Do not be called Master. You have but one Master, the Christ. The greatest among you must be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang batas ay batas. Naalala niyo ba yun? Narinig niyo na ba yun? Narinig natin ito sa kasagsaga ng COVID-19 pandemic. Yung unang uh, taon, di ba, napaka-stricto ang pagpatupad ng batas. Kaya nababasa natin, nakikita natin sa mga television, narinig natin sa mga radyo, maraming mga sinisita, yung hindi nagmamasks, yung uh, walang social distancing, yung mga hindi nag-o-observe ng protocols, marami yung mga na-detain, mga nagbayad ng penalty, kahit walang pambayad, merong mga frontliners na hindi pinayagan, na makasakay sa motorsiklo kapag uh, dalawa sila. Dahil, ang sabi, ang batas ay batas. The law is the law. Ang nakakalungkot lamang po ay hindi para sa lahat Pinapatupad. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung nanga, mga may penalty, yung mga nakulong, ay yung mga ordinaryong tao. 
chopper, driver. Yung mga nasalaylayan sabihin natin. Dahil ang batas ay batas. Ngunit meron naman tayong nalalaman, meron naman tayo ang nakikita na hindi lahat ay tumutupad at lalong-lalo na yung mga mambabatas din yung gumagawa ng batas, yung nag-approve ng batas. Merong hindi tumutupad. Pag sabing quarantine, eh, kailangan quarantine kapag mayroong nag-positive na kasama. Kaya lang, dahil authority, dahil nakakataas, dahil may posisyon, wala lang. Ang batas ay batas. Pero sa mga mahihirap lamang, may pinipilingan ang batas. Yung gumagawa mismo ng batas ay hindi tumutupad ng batas dahil sila ay batas. Nakakalungkot. Nakakalungkot. Dahil ang tunay na batas ay walang pinipili. Mahirap ka man, mayaman ka man, ordinaryong tao ka man, may kapangyarihan ka man. Pag sinabi ang batas ay batas, ang batas ay batas. Mga kapatid, ito ngayon ang pinapaalaala sa atin ng ating Panginoon, lalong-lalo na sa ating Ibanghilyo, Pinapaalaala sa kanya mga apostoles na huwag na huwag gayahin itong mga scribes and Pharisees who are teacher of the law. Sila yung mga nagtuturo tungkol sa batas at sila din yung mga nagpapatupad sa batas. Na once makaupo na sila sa tinatawag chair of Moses, ibig sabihin, in their authority, then the words should be followed. Kaya ang sabi ng ating panganyon, ayan, kapag sila ay nagtuturo, pakinggan nyo, sundin nyo ang kanilang mga tinuturo kanilang mga paalaala kasi yun ay ang batas na gusto ipatupad ng Diyos. Ngunit, merong ngunit, but do not follow their example. Ito eh. Dito tayo <laughs> magkakaproblema. Dito tayo magkakaproblema. Kasi, iba yung tinuturo, iba yung pinapatupad, ngunit hindi ginagawa, hindi inoobserve kapag sila ay dapat gumalaw. Hindi nila ina-apply sa kanilang mga sarili. Sa iba, okay lang. Sa mga ordinaryong tao, okay lang. Pero kapag sila ay affected, silent. Wala. Ito yung injustice na gusto iwasto ng ating Panginoon. 
Ito yung injustice na hindi kaawaan ni, eh. Dahil maiinis ka lang. Naiinis ka lang. Lalong-lalo na yung mga obedient. Lalong-lalo na yung mga sumusunod. Mawawalan ka ng moral support. Mawawalan ka ng gana na isa buhay. Kasi nakikita at nakikita sa mga nagpapatupad ngunit hindi naman tumutupad. Mga kapatid dito, makikita natin ang wisdom ng batas. Na ang batas is made for the common good. For the common good. Para pangkalahatan. Para sa lahat. Hindi lamang sa mga may kapangyarihan. Kaya pinapaalaala sa atin ng ating Panginoon na sa mata ng Diyos, pantay-pantay tayo. Na sa mata ng Diyos, walang may kapangyarihan. Na sa mata ng Diyos, iisa lang. Iisa lang. Ang nagpapatupad at iyon ay walang iba kundi ang Diyos mismo. Ngayon, kuminsan, makikita natin na yung mga masama o may ginawang masama, eh bakit sila pa yung nauuna sa kaharihan ng Diyos? Naalala niyo yung thief na kasama ng ating Panginoon na pinako sa krus. Makasalanan, magnanakaw. Ngunit nung sinabi niya, nung dinefend niya ang Panginoon at tinanggap niya na siya ay may sala. Sinabi lamang niya sa ating Panginoon, If you go, then save me. Sa pagtanggap ng kanya mga kasalanan, sa pagsisi sa kanya mga kasalanan, pinatawad siya ng Diyos. At sinapa pa sa kaharihan ng Diyos. Today, you shall be with me in paradise. Yun ang sagot ng ating Panginoon sa Kanya. Ang ibig sabihin, the justice of God is in His mercy. Sa Kanyang awa, nandun ang justisya ng Diyos. Dahil siya ay ama na maawain. Dahil alam niya ang dapat gagawin. Sa ating unang pagbasa, sinasabi na kapag tayo ay magsisi sa ating mga kasalanan, God will just forget what we have done. Kailangan lang manggaling sa atin ang pagbabago. Kailangan lang nabalikan natin ang original kung bakit ginawa tayo ng Diyos. Or else, it would be against Himself. Kung walang awa ang Diyos, it would be against himself. 
because God is so good, remember. But that goodness of God will just follow if we are good. Kung tayo mismo ay mabait at masunurin sa Kanya. Kung sa atin mismo manggaling ang pagbabago, magbabago ang galit ng Diyos sa atin. Kaya huwag tayo matakot magbago. Ang pagbabago ay isang grasya na gagaling sa Diyos. Kung may pagbabago man, yun ay dahil mahal tayo ng Diyos. Kaya lang, hindi dapat ang Diyos magbago. Tayo ang magbago upang the justice of God will come from His mercy. Maawa sa atin ng Diyos. Kaya lang, una, kawaan din natin ang ating mga sarili. Huwag nating abusuhin ang ating mga sarili. If we love ourselves, then we must discipline ourselves. And this is the call of Lent. To discipline ourselves in order to gain back the justice, the mercy of God. Let us hear the admonition of our Lord who taught us to do His work humbly and without ostentation. For every intention we say, Lord, lead us to the way of your Spirit. Lord, lead us in the way of your Spirit, that church leaders may be too totally dedicated to their noble calling to preach the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, lead us to the way of your Spirit, that parents and teachers may accompany their teachings with witnessing and good examples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, lead us to the way of your Spirit, that we may always seek to do what is right and may God's word be a living power influencing our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, lead us in the way of your spirit. That we may look with love and compassion upon the sick, the old, and the lonely. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, lead us in the way of your spirit. That the dead may find rest and new life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, lead us to the way of your Spirit. In silence, we offer our very own personal intentions and prayers, the intentions of this Mass, and uh, especially for our loved ones who ask for our prayers, for the intentions of all those who are suffering at this pandemic, and for the intentions of peace, especially in Ukraine and Russia. Heavenly Father, deepen our faith so that we may grow in your love and always serve you with generous and sincere heart. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruits of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you through the divine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for a good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased to work with your sanctification within us by means of this mystery, O Lord, and by it we are cleansed of earthly faults and lead to the gifts of heaven. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up them to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and ever for to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts. Thus freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world, and so hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift to pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Archbishop, Fidelis' assistant, Gerard our Master of the Order, 
the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep and the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with our Father Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let the Saviour's command and form by divine teaching be day to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I left you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of the living God, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the, the word, word and, my and my soul shall, shall be healed.
please all kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for a while for some announcements. Let us pray first before the announcement. Let us pray. With the refreshment of this sacred table, O Lord, we pray Bring us an increase in devoutness of life and a constant help of your work of conciliation to Christ our Lord. Please stand. Please Amen. be seated. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the summer feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on May 4, 2022 third Wednesday after Easter Sunday. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon and 4.30 p.m. from April 25 to May 3, 2022. Additional Mass at 3 o'clock p.m. on May 1, Sunday. We invite you to participate in this Novena Masses if you wish to sponsor one or several masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the Electronic Souvenir Program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please all stand. I would like to thank also each and everyone for your presence, especially for your active participation and cooperation during this Mass. Thank you very much. And let us pray and continue praying for one another. And please include in your prayers, our frontliners here in the Minor Basilica for a better service. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for a blessing. Graciously hear the cries of your faithful, O Lord, and relieve the weariness of their souls, that having received your forgiveness, they may never re rejoice in your blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Mass is offered, let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We will now have the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters. Please remember the names of your loved ones who are sick and let us offer for them this uh, prayer for their fast recovery. We will also bless your religious articles. Our hope is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. By your God, our almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. To have a kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, freedom from all illness, 
and restored him to good health through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they were gratefully bless your holy name in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your religious articles, in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May all these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Amen. Spirit. Amen. Our lay ministers will help us sprinkle the holy water. 